Hi, w welcome back to depression. Ninian died. Yeah. Now only Nurgle's echoing laughs to remain. Yes. No, on Hector's advice, the group heads towards Ostia. They're weary to the bone, and they need time to regroup. Ostia is the most heavily guarded fortress city in all of Lycia. No enemy should have been able to breach its walls. Look, I'm all I can say is I'm glad that there's been a 24-hour window between the last recording and this one because I'm telling you, yeah, Ninian's death always gets me in this game. Here we are, chapter 31, sense of time. Last time we did uh, chapter 30, the Berserker, we got our mads, uh, and yeah, and uh, we got some good level ups for Elliewood and Pant. That's pretty much all I can update you guys with. All right, anyways, okay. Lord Hector, we're pleased to see you home alive and well. Where's my brother? Ah, oh, he departed yesterday for a conference in Etoria. He's scheduled to return in a half month's time. Okay, so I guess we're, we're back to where, where we started off from? Is that is that kind of what's happening? Etoria, that's a pity. Go and prepare rooms for my companions. They need rest. Yes, my lord. My brother's away. Oswin, did you know about this? Uh, yes, I was aware of his trip. Why did he choose to go to Etoria now? I don't get it. It's not like him. Hmm. Okay, interesting. <laughs> and uh, here we are. I suppose. Greybeard, you know something, don't you? Tell me, what are we supposed to do now? A moment, lad. Yes, I suppose you've a right to know. Okay. Have we learned something new? Oh, okay. First met Nurgle some 500 years ago, wandering the Nevada wasteland. Like me, his only drive was to search for truth in this world. We were equals in power and knowledge, and we became fast friends. Unlike slow friends, I guess. We believed we could solve the mysteries of the world. Mysteries of the emblem, we truly believed. So what happened? He kind of looks like Pant there from behind, that's kind of interesting. I wonder if Athos and Pant are actually related somehow. I know that Pant is kind of his disciple, but... I wonder if he's like... in the family tree or something, I don't know. A disagreement made at the height of our quest. One day, as I charted the mysteries of Nomada, I came across the most amazing village. It was unbelievable, but in that place, humans and dragons lived together in cooperation. Dragons and humans? Are you telling me that they could live together in peace? I love how like every Fire Emblem game is just like racism towards dragons, like every single time. <laughs> like, <laughs> Anyways, okay. At first I doubted what my own eyes showed me, but yes, the village truly did exist. That's amazing. The dragons that I beheld there, they were both similar to and different from the dragons I had fought hundreds of years ago be uh, before. Yeah. Okay. Wonder why Elliwood's all the way down there. I guess he's depressed over his wife, of course. Ah, oh. Elliwood, are you... Please go on, as you wish. Okay. More backstory. They had refused to fight humans in the war, and instead they retreated to the wasteland. They decided nothing but to remain hidden from the outside. Look at that giant dragon in the back. Nurgle and I crafted a barrier and created an oasis for them. Upon their invitation, we lived there with them. Our life there, it was calm and satisfying. At some point, the village became known as Arcadia, a place of perfect peace for travellers gone astray. I know Arcadia means something, um... Maybe it- yeah, I'm guessing it means like, you know, Utopia or something like that, right? Okay, travellers gone astray. Alright, Arcadia. The dragon's libraries were a dream come true to us. We studied their language and history with unbridled passion. A century then two, time passed in an eyes blink, and yet slowly our thoughts turned down different paths. In what way? I wanted to share the dragon's wisdom with others. My hope was for our earthly paradise to spread outward. And Nurgle? Ah, uh, Nurgle, he took the dragon's knowledge. He learned the art of stealing the essence from living, creatures and turning it into power. So I guess one was hungry for power, the other was trying to embrace the power, I guess, right? It was terrible. When we discovered what he was doing, the elders and I tried to persuade him to stop, but the power bewitched him, and he was deaf to our pleas. In a way, this kind of reminds me of the whole Ashura Indra thing from Naruto Shippuden, you know, like, the whole cycle of balance and stuff, right? Like, there's always the one that uses knowledge for good, and another that um, ends up falling for greed, because whatever the reason is, right? But... Um, yeah, so it's kind of interesting that there, there has to be two sides of the one coin. Okay, but the power bewitched him and he was deaf to our pleas. He started with small creatures and grew ever more confident. Then he began draining the quintessence of humans. The villagers and I joined forces and defeated him, or so we thought, but... Hmm, I guess he was sealed away for 500 years. After he was banished from Acadia, Nurgle fled to burn. He increased his power slowly to avoid our eye. Using quintessence, he made his puppets the morphs. 
They're bewitching in form with intellects beyond human. I'm sure you've laid eyes on them yourselves. Yeah, like limbs stellar, I'm guessing. Jet black hair, pale complexion, blood red lips. Limb stellar, Sonia. Uh, was there one more? I feel like there was one more, and I can't remember who it was now. <laughs> uh, anyways, okay. Their most striking features are their glittering gold eyes. Yeah, yeah, there was that one... There was the one that was under the hood in the very beginning. I forget what he was called now. Alright, anyways, okay. Alright, interesting. We've got a whole bunch of cutscenes now. Attack, we're under attack! What? L Lord Hector, it's bad. An unknown group has breached the castle walls. How did they get into the castle without anyone noticing them? They just appeared out of nowhere. The attack was so sudden, the castle guards were annihilated. Castle Ostia is famed far and wide as being impregnable. If it's being breached so easily, can we save it? It's Nurgle. His magic created an entrance for his thugs within the castle. I love how these, like, terrorists are just called thugs. Like, <laughs> like they're just gonna, like, pickpocket you for $20 or something. Like, blast that arrogant. No matter what, the throne must be protected. I will not let the castle fall while my brother is away. Hold on, Hector. I'm going with you. <sighs> okay. Yeah, no, you have all the right to be depressed. As so, so do I, to be fair. Right, we need you. We need a plan. If we can hold them back for a while, reinforcements will come. I guess this is another one of the, like, wait it out for 11 turns kind of thing. Um, okay, so all three main lords have to come with us. Interesting. Uh, oh, that's right. We had a whole bunch of wolf bales last time. It was the funniest thing ever. <laughs> if you want to go watch it, it's, it's, it is a rather watch. Um, a rather watch? What? It is a rather uh, short watch, is what I was trying to say. Um, so if you're interested in watching me get the, uh, giant arm uh, Mads axe, I don't think... I'm guessing he doesn't actually have it right now. Hold on one second. Um, it's not in, like, special items or stuff, right? Yeah, I guess, I guess we can't wield it right now. Uh, we've got to hold on to it some other time. Alright, in that case, let me double check. Uh, let's take a look at the... Well, first of all, the map. Um, yeah, so... We need thieves. I mean, we, we don't if we have chest keys, of course, but... Um, yeah, I don't remember- well, actually, no, I'm not gonna jinx myself. I was gonna say I don't remember this map being particularly difficult, but, well, it is Hector mode, so that's for one. Also, we can't take a look at, um, Nils's thing anymore. I guess he's depressed as well. Um, yeah, he can't take part in this chapter. I was looking at the wiki before, just to check if there was anyone to recruit, um, just double-checking. Um, but yeah, it said, like, you cannot bring Nils, so... We don't have a, uh, dancer unit. Like, I, I guess he's a flute player unit, but, you know, same situation. Sarah? Huh, I guess- oh, actually, no, we'll definitely bring Vader. Should we bring Louise? I know she doesn't have a thumbnail. I know I shouldn't be thinking about this based on thumbnails, but, hey, you know. <laughs> Although, I might want to save off on Louise for the limb stellar fight, because that has a bunch of uh, ballistas, if I'm not mistaken. So the more archers we can get in that one, the better. Um, but okay, let me just uh, move around some units and I'll be back. Alright, uh, this is actually a rather big map with a whole bunch of units, which is, so we, we'll be able to use some characters we haven't used in a while. For instance, uh, Dart is back, so we'll have to, uh, I still haven't done the equipment, but Dart is back. Uh, also, Heath and Vader have a support. I might give the Delphi shield over to Vader. Actually, no, you have really high defense, so I'll keep it on Heath, I think. Uh, and Sarah, m why, might as well, right? Might as well increase that Eric Sarah <laughs> um, friendship bond. Also, she could be the thumbnail for this episode, I guess. Um, I'm sure someone's gonna get hurt, so I'm sure she'll be able to heal someone up. Uh, also, didn't we buy heal stuffs before? Anyways, I'll be back in a second, and I'll do all the equipment. Alright, uh, in that case, I am more or less done. Uh, we only have one chest key and one door key, so, uh... Yeah. Unless they have chest keys, I'm only gonna be able to open one of the chests, so... That's not good, but anyways. Um, but other than that, I've given all the silver items that we bought a few episodes ago. Uh, like silver bow, yeah, silver lance, that kind of thing. Uh, Eric has the, uh, the new fire as well, and then, yeah, Sarah has unlock as well, so... We'll see how it goes, we shall see how it goes. Let's jump into it, though. Alright, let's jump into it. Melanus is level 14 now, let's drop him in. I guess Melanus does has, uh, have stats in terms of, um, you know, dodging and stuff. There's a message from Lord Nurgle. I await you on the Dread Isle. There's a message from- oh, yeah, yeah, okay. Yeah, alright, we get it. Um, okay. Yes, that's right, there's green units that will help us out, uh, so we can definitely heal them up as well, because they will go ahead and uh, attack some of the enemies. Tell the soldiers, take your post and don't move, hold your positions. All we can do is hold on until reinforcements arrive. Let's go for it. Elliewood. What? Don't overexert yourself. I'm fine, I'm not that weak. 
Mm. Yeah, well, Nils? Okay, so I guess Nils is here now. Ninian. You, you're one of Lord Hector's guests, aren't you? You shouldn't be out here, it's too dangerous. Go out and hide in that room, do you understand? <clears throat> okay. Oh, I guess we can't use him right now. We have to protect the throne for 11 turns, let's jump into it. Alright, let's take a look at the map just in case. You know, you can break through here to open one of the chests, uh, but obviously... Unless one of these, um... Oh, is this the one with all the poison items it is, isn't it? Oh, that's gonna be a pain. And that's right, there's four random units that, um, of ours that end up over on this side. Which might end up being a problem as well. Not not to, uh, well, also keeping in mind all these, uh, you know, archers and stuff. I cannot... It doesn't look like any of them have chest keys, which is... Although, there is also the thief that appears, so he might have one. I don't know, we'll see. <sighs> what is the strat here? Um... Well, for the time being, at least this group is only going to have to deal with these Dark Mages, these Heavy uh, Knights, and these Sword Masters, so... I think that's fine. Let's get some stuff going. Um, yeah, okay, we'll get the Heavy Hitters down this way, down this way to get the uh, Dark Mages and, you know, the Heavy Units here. Let's get Osman over here. Although we could actually wait until the Green Units actually start moving, but... In fact, I don't even think... Are they even in the danger zone? Oh, I guess he's in the danger zone of that guy. Um, you have rather good resistance, right? I'm sure you're good. I'm sure you're fine. You got the javelin equipped, yeah, okay. Um, where is Dork? Is Dork down here? Dork is down here. Huh, okay, well at least they have one heavy- actually, they have two heavy hitters. No, actually, they have ca uh, Kansas as well, and Priscilla, so they have healing as well. These four are actually a really good uh, combination there. Okay, that's fine then. We shall get, um... We got Hawkeye going down this side. Uh, where is Pent? There you are. We got Pent, who can actually bolting if things do get ugly at some point. Uh, we do have one more use for that. I'm probably going to use it at some point. Maybe on this map or maybe the next map. Um, Dart here, of course, is going to boost up Rebecca's power. Uh, I think you're a fire, right? Not that I really know what affinities do, but I know that gives attack bonus, so... We should probably put you two next to each other at some point. Um, let's see. I guess we'll get... Uh, hold on. Well, there's heavy... Um, no, I'll get Elliewood to go over on this side. Yeah, let's get... We'll get Hector Elliewood going uh, down this way, I think. And uh, I suppose Eric and... Uh, what, is, what is your name again? Sarah. Sarah can wait here, I think. Let me just actually double check if everyone's animations are on, because... Uh, uh, hold on, I'm gonna turn Sarah's one on just because, well, we need a thumbnail, you know, you know how it works, okay. Uh, and what we'll do is, I'll get the flyers down this side, because there's less bow knights and stuff going on, even though the, De the Delphi shield is on, uh, Heath here. Uh, and I might as well increase the Vader Heath, uh, support while I can. Um, Loen, lo and behold, I will put you, you're not gonna be super, you know, you're definitely not all that powerful right now, so... Um, okay, so we'll get Rebecca Lowen increasing that support. Um, but yeah, we also have Dart as well, so we'll get you like here. Uh, for the time being, Wrath, you can stay behind, I think. Uh, you and Lynn can increase the support while we're here. Now, let's take a look at uh, some of the danger zones. Are any of our members here in danger? I don't think they're actually in immediate danger. Um, at least not that I can tell, apart from these dark mages which could definitely attack, so what, uh, what we can do... Yeah, you're gonna do some crazy, crazy damage anyways, so... I think Dork's got high resistance, right? Hold on, oh my god, I just realized he's had 137 battles, that is ridiculous. 53, 40... Karel's already had 42? <laughs> I guess that makes sense, but still. Who, hold on, I want to check some others now. Hector? Oh my god, 152. <laughs> and uh, I'll just do one more, because I'm curious. Hawkeye's already got 121 as well. Jesus Christ, okay. Well, I'm going to get um, the uh, bow going on. Uh, if Dork gets attacked by one of those Dark Mages, he's going to be fine. We also have uh, two healers here, so um, in that regard, it's completely fine as well. Um, actually, I should check the range of these guys. I think they're fine as well. We could lure out with Karel kind of standing around here. Because uh, he'll be able to absolutely destroy 
these, uh, oh, there, let me just double check, unless he has, like, a sword reaver or something crazy. You do have a javelin, though, so... The one issue with that is, yeah, we might not be able to hit back. But I guess we could try and lure out some of the characters here. And we get Kansas here, and Priscilla... I think you're out of the danger zone. Yeah, okay. So Priscilla's fine as well. Let's end our turn. Let us see. Alright, so some armor knights coming up here. Yep, they're gonna do some damage to each- Oh, right, they have poison weapons, that's right. Um, but again, we do have Priscilla here, so we can heal up the green units if need be. Because that is also a valid strategy as well, so... Uh, a lot of the Myrmidons are going upwards, and uh, Dark Mage, yep, oh, I thought that was going to happen, yeah, that makes sense. Yep, oh, you just got critted. Um, so these green units, I don't, I, yeah, there's no, like, crazy thing, like, you don't have to save them all, but it is good to have, just so that they go in and, you know, do some fodder damage. What are you going to pull off? Okay, well, at least you missed. I don't know what you just did, but that was awfully frightening. And you missed, that's okay. And you got poisoned. Okay, fair enough. And, uh, wow, yeah, these these guys aren't too great. I'll put it that way. Oh, well, never mind, okay. I mean, your sacrifice won't be in vain, I, I suppose. Uh, there we go, there, so there's the thief. I wonder if he has a lot. Uh, no, he doesn't. Okay. Interesting. Um, what was I gonna check again? I was gonna check something and now I forget. Oh, right, you. Oh, you have silence. Oh, that would be very annoying if, if Priscilla got hit by that. Should I try bolting this guy? Am I gonna reach is the question? And also, I didn't bring a thing with me. I, yeah, I didn't bring Eclipse with me. Or oh, did that run out? I, I actually don't remember now. Whatever, it doesn't really matter. Uh, I'm gonna try and get Osman down towards Dork. Somehow. I'm sure he can tank pretty much anything, right? Um, let's see here. I wonder if this... Because uh, you... Yeah, you have six left. Could this be a low and kill? You don't have a javelin, I just realized. <laughs> Uh, is there anyone that has one? You have one. Huh, okay. <laughs> um... And you're not gonna be able to reach, yeah. I did think that could be a, uh, an okay, uh, low and kill, but... I suppose we could bring, um... Osmond down the next turn? Let's, let's deal with this side first, then. Um, let's change plans a little bit. So, I'll get Hector down... Heliwood. You don't have any killing edges or anything, do you? Poison sword? You have a killing edge. Okay. Alright, I'll keep that in mind. Um, okay. Poison sword? I mean, how much... You got 0% hit rate. No, wait, no, you got 63% hit rate. Oh. We could get the sword reaver going on. That is also an option. Uh, and they can't reach, so yeah, let's do that. I think that's the safest, because we do have to keep, in, keep into mind about uh, poison as well. Sarah has antitoxins, I believe, because, uh, I just found- No, she doesn't. Uh, Merlinus might have some. Either way, someone has antitoxins, and also we have the wrist, uh, restore stuff, with only four uses, though, so we've got to be careful there. What if I get bolting? Can I reach that? No, I can't reach that guy. I was going to try and get this guy, because if he silences Priscilla or something, I think that stuff, like, lasts, like, a few turns at least, which is really annoying. Um, okay, so your danger zones are there. I don't know if I'm too fond of Eliwood being on the forefront just yet with these stats. Um, Vader and Heath can launch their attack next turn, I think. I think they can stay behind a little. I'm gonna get pent over this side, I think. Uh, let's see though, should I try and give that kill to Lauren? I could. The only issue is, what is your... Actually, no, your danger zone's completely fine, so if I get... Oswin... Uh, no, actually, if I get Oswin here... And we'll get... Um, you to get the javelin... To attack, yeah, okay. Let's go for it. We have to give, uh, this man kills when, when we can, you know? <laughs> can you finally give us a good level up, though, for once? Oh, yeah, okay. I guess you did. Alright. Not bad, not bad. Uh, we don't- we do not have a Knight's Crest, um, by any chance, but, hey, uh, it is what it is. Also, that's right, um, Nino died two episodes ago, well, she didn't die, but we can't use her, and so we lost the Guiding Ring, so Eric or Sarah isn't even gonna get, uh, promoted. So, uh, yeah, that's kinda rough, but what can you do? Can Dart tank this guy? 
Oh, 12 strength, 17 defense. It doesn't matter if you don't double him. But I would want to... Uh, should I lure him, out, lure him out? I don't know, that's that's a tough one, isn't it? I'll get Rebecca there. I'll get uh, Dart over here. To be fair, we could get a good uh, Wrath experience maybe next turn, so we'll get you guys going there. Eric and Sarah. Does anyone need a heal, actually? No? Okay. We get Sarah there, and Pant can come down here. Uh, I'll try and bolting that this this guy at some point. What is your range? Is that your range for silence or whatever? There's no way, right? What is the range of this? Range is magic power divided by two. What does that even mean? MP divided by two? Does it mean like this? So like eight range? One, two, three, four, five. Wait, hold on. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. All right. So if I move pressure the one here or something, is that going to be fine? Although again, I do have to worry uh, about this guy with his javelin and stuff. So might not be the best idea. I could get Corel out there because he is incredibly good at dodging stuff. Should lure out and defeat a lot of these guys. I'm sure the Silver Sword. How much does the Silver Sword do against the General? You are not one shotting that guy. Okay. He does have the Silver Lance as well, yeah. Well, I suppose I'll go for it. Um, we could also Flux as well, but I know Kansas doesn't have incredibly high defense. So I don't know if I want to do that either. I mean, is this guy? Yeah, um, I mean, he would. He would. Yeah, to be fair, even if he did silence Prashila, we do have Kansas to heal up with, so. It wouldn't be the worst thing. But I mean, either way, I think this guy's gonna attack anyway, so let's just go for the Corel uh, kill with the Silver Sword. I'm sure he's gonna miss, yeah. And even if he didn't. Yeah, there you go, that's a crit. Um. We could just easily heal up Corel uh, with one of our units anyway, so I don't I don't see the problem here. Uh, and you... and... okay. So we've got quite a few. We have this guy. We have three. I'm sure he can tank all three, right? I'm sure that's fine. Okay, well, uh, in that case, um... Dog can't really do too much unless... He's not even going to be able to do that, is he? Let's see how much you get hit by. You only get hit by six. Okay. That's actually not that bad. Same as the uh, longbow morph as well. Kansas might actually be able to tank everything here. Although the poison light, well, we do have Priscilla. It is a little bit risky, but I, I, I think he's fine. I think he's fine. Um, yeah, I, I'm sure he's fine. Okay, he got hit once <laughs> by 36. That's not a great start, but. Looking at everyone else's stats with uh, how much he can tank, he seems to be fine. And also, that was a sniper, so these are all pre-promoted uh, pre uh, what characters, right? Units. So they're not going to hit as hard anyways. Alright, so your thing is 8, right? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. That's quite the distance, to be fair. We could put you here, maybe. Hold on. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Yeah. I put you there, should be fine, it's just, let me just check if there's any crazy, uh, you know, danger zones or anything, I think it's fine. Put you there then. Dork could also come down here with the steel bow equipped, yeah, sure, okay. I guess that was our last unit we could move. And a 0% hit rate with the Axe Raver, good stuff. <laughs> and uh, an instant critical. Corel is a critical machine, you know. Like, every weapon, even if it has zero crit rate, like the Silver Sword, it will do 33 crit, so... Which, yeah, he himself is a killing weapon, that's what I was saying, like... Which is crazy. But anyways. Alright, the morph's doing some damage, cool, cool, cool. I'm guessing the two generals are gonna attack Corel next. Um, which is fine, even though 13's a bit... Oh, nice dodge. Okay, if we dodge one of them, I'm... That's, yeah, I'm happy with that. Um... I'm sure even yeah you know even if the other guy hit, um, he'll be fine. He'll be fine. And I doubt they have crit uh, rates either. Even if it was like a 13 uh, attack or something. Miss. Oh, okay, good, good, good. All right, that's what we like to see. And bye bye to you. Okay. So, um, I'm not gonna look up what's in the chests, even though I can only open one of them. 
Um, just because I feel like that's cheating, so... I'll uh, leave it to Lady Luck, as they say. I think that's the best way to do it, and I'm sure you guys are going to get a kick out of that, uh, too. If I get some shitty item, like, I don't know... 26% crit? Okay, no, we're good. We're completely fine. And, uh, Hawkeye is not finishing that guy off, but I guess we can get uh, someone else to finish him off then. So that's fine. And, uh, alright, so the green unit is dead now. We should be okay, though, I feel. Um, oh, longbow. Okay, interesting. Interesting, interesting. I guess that's fine. And, uh, yeah, a lot of the- they, they are definitely going for the uh, green units, I've noticed. He's probably done for next turn, actually, because of the toxic. Um, but... Oh! Oh, I was actually- oh, I guess if you move, then the range change. Damn it, that actually hit. Oh, Jesus, okay. Alright, oh, I guess you're not actually damaged fully. Okay, interesting. A ton of reinforcements, Jesus Christ, okay. Alright, um, what is the plan here? I don't even know. Uh, let's see. Uh, I guess we'll work with this side first. Um, I think it kind of has to be Hawkeye from the way the green units have blocked uh, us out like that. And he's only got 2 HP as well, which is really annoying. Um, that is annoying. Unless we rescue an Ostia Knight out the way, we, we actually could do that, to be fair. Yeah, let's do that. Um, because then, Heath might be able to get a good uh, good kill here with uh, a bunch of EXP. That might just be the good idea, there we go, okay. He was actually just uh, just looking for a level up, I suppose. Level 2 Wyvern Lord, nice. Eh, not too bad, not too bad. I mean, he's getting double digit uh, numbers, so that's good. Right, uh, let's move Hawkeye down here, and I'll break the... Hmm, I don't really want to use the Brave Axe. Oh, perfect, we use the uh, Silver Axe. To break down a 40 HP wall with one hit, that is crazy. We will put uh, Vader next to him for the support, of course. Uh, let's get a um, Elwood Hector. Although we could run it. Oh, no, it's fine, it's fine. I do want to build the supports, like I said. Alright, uh, there is a lot going on here, so <laughs> we'll have to act fast. Uh, however, we do have quite a lot of um, magic units, so this might be rather nice, rather good. Um, we'll see. Can Dart get a crazy hit in? 12 times 2. He might be able to get rid of one of these. Uh, Bigger boys, yeah, 17 times 2 is 34, I think, 33, 34. Nice! Have we seen that animation? <laughs> that seems new, and it's not the same animation as Hawkeye's, which is very interesting. I guess his berserker thing is, is a bit different. Um, we do have a lot of archers though, that's the one thing. As much as I love using dart, um, let's see here. You probably, yeah, you can't finish, here. there's no way. Unless we get Lin down here, uh, somehow. Oh, you've only got the money. Wait, hold on. Oh no, you got the iron bow, that's why. Can you finish this one off? 18 times 2, yes you can. How much money caddy do we have left? 23? We've only really got like 3 chapters left, I think. So I'm not too fussed if we run out of money caddy. Uh, or not run out of money caddy, but like if we use it uh, quite often here. I think that's fine. Don't get poisoned. Okay, good. Oh, I love the miss animation. That was... <laughs> she was super cool there. Just looked away. Not a care in the world. Nice level up. Let's see what you got. Right, level 5. Blade Lord. 43 HP though, and 18 strength. That was actually... You know, for a two-ping, that was actually a relatively good... Uh, relatively good uh, level up there. Can you get some chippy XP? Nope. You can't even do that. Um, <laughs> Great. Hold on. They don't have... Yeah, they don't even have a single... Um, experience, do they, or like a, a single, what do you call it, you know what I mean, support option. I, should I give this, I'll pro uh, hold on, how much does Pent do? Let's see how much Pent does first. You're gonna nuke him in one shot, I didn't realise. I do want to get rid of this morph guy, to be fair. What can, how about, how about, uh, oh I see, how about Rebecca, 11 times 2 you could do... although, hold on, the, the thing is, there's so many archers and stuff here that I've got to really think this through. Um, so, I guess we'll try and get rid of this guy? Oswin might not be able to finish this guy though. Is he a sniper? I don't even think he's a sniper, he's just a regular one, right? Huh. Surprised Oswin is having... I didn't mean to do that. Oh, I thought you had a long weapon. What? Okay, to be fair, these three should be able to tank something, I think. I, I'm sure. 
I, I think it's fine. God, that was annoying though. Uh, I hate it when it does that. Okay, let's let's just get this with hmm, with Eric and Rebecca. Do you have a longbow? Yeah, you do. Okay. So what if we can't even finish that guy off, huh? Poison bow, Nosferatu poison bow. Okay, you have a silver bow. Could be an issue. Um, it could be an issue. Uh, we could also help them out with Dorcas here. Uh, to lower the uh, amount of enemies. How long is this silence going to take? Oh my god. That's so annoying. I hate this guy so much. He's only got one more silence, but if Pent gets silenced, well, you know, that's kind of the end for us as well, so. Right, um, in that case, let's get... I could try the bolting on you. How much... Oh, you're not even going to be able to finish him. Well, then I almost feel like there's no point. What we could do, though, is get one of these guys done with bolting. Is that possible? perhaps. You're still going to, uh, if we, hold on, oh, this is so difficult, this is so difficult. Let's see, I mean, if I can get you 12 times to 24 finish off with the bolting, I mean, that is also an option to, to take into consideration. Get rid of this sniper here. Uh, you are a sniper, right? Or are you a, you are a sniper, okay. So that is something I should keep into uh, consideration. Yeah, let's do it. I mean, if you pull off a crit, then you pull off a crit, right? Probably not, but... Yeah, I didn't think so. That's fine. And the bolting broke, of course. Yep, of course it did. That's fine. Let's get Wrath here, and... Yeah, we'll, we'll give you the XP. It is a promoted unit, so I'm sure you'll get a little bit, at least. Oh, oh my god, that's the same Marcus, um, Marcus palette as the one we use in our tag lock, so... <laughs> One ping. Oh, great. Okay, that... yeah, that wasn't good. Um, what we can do now, though, is we can get... Rebecca popping off here. Um, Wrath's in danger as well. They might split up their attack, hopefully? I don't know. Right, and we will get uh, Rebecca... Yeah, I think uh, I want to give the experience to Eric, even though he can't promote anymore, but that should be a safe spot. For now, you might crit, to be fair, but let's see what happens. Okay, cool. Hey, at least um, these morphs with the poison weapons aren't actually hitting us, so that's that's actually really good. Alright, let's give this to Eric, of course, and... I wonder if, uh, hmm... I'm not sure, it, I wonder if Sarah has a... Oh, that's a nice experience, to be fair. Um, was anyone actually hurt? Not really. So, Sarah's gonna be use, uh, useless yet again, but hey, we can uh, do that for now. And uh, again, like I said, we can actually help them out with uh, Dork here, at least one of these guys, to lower the risks of, uh, you know, a unit dying, like Dard or something. Totally could happen though, it absolutely could happen. Also, I think, um, if I remember correctly, I think uh, if another unit dies, uh, it's gonna be the first one that goes to the right side of the video. <laughs> So, uh, just a neat little fact, I guess. I, I don't know if it's neat, but, um, you're definitely gonna go for either Pent or Kansas next turn in terms of your silence, and that pisses me off. Well, I think, hold on. Oh, no, Pent's here, never mind. Who did you rescue? Um, oh, Lowen, I see. Okay, well, I mean, maybe that was it. That, that might have been for the better, I don't know. Uh, let's see here, what should I do with Kansas? Um, I could move him out of the danger zones, but at the same time... I don't think he's actually taking too much damage from here either. And also very, very low uh, hit rates too. He's probably going to open up this door next. Which means there's going to be more enemies coming down this way. How much are you going to do there? You can even finish uh, a sniper off as well, huh? Alright, well, I suppose we'll lure them kind of this way and get Kansas some uh, crazy XP while we can. I'm going to keep skipping the flux animation as we do. 4 ping, nice. 16 resistance, that's actually really good. I am gonna go for... I was gonna go for you, but if I did that, then you can waltz in. I suppose I could move uh, Priscilla away a little bit. It could be an option too, to be fair. Uh, if I move you there, well, you'll be fine, right? Yeah, so if I move... Yeah, if I move you here... And then I'll get you down here with the silver sword, I think that should be fine. I'm gonna get rid of the uh, sniper, because again, I can't finish him off with a uh, retaliation with uh, Karel here, so, you know. 
Alright, so now the, the ultimate question is, will we lose a unit from the uh, upper area there? 29 skill, 15 defense. Sword Slayer, nice, we can give that to Dork or someone. I don't- oh shit, this is the message from Lord Nurgle, I await you in Dread Isle. Alright, 8 damage, that's fine. It's easy. <laughs> we can, uh, probably- we might even be able to finish Denning off with, uh, Corel here, we'll see. We'll see. You're gonna go. The only thing is the poison with, uh, Kansas here. Um, oh, nice crit. Yeah, because Priscilla's out of commission right now, so... We can't actually use the restore stuff, even if that happens. And, uh, nice dodge as well. Again, the, uh, more EXP for Corel, the better. Uh, at least in my eyes, so... So there you have it. And, uh, nice. We'll save the other one. You actually could reach? Wait, why did- Oh, is it because he moved? Oh, well, either way, he, he- he missed, so that's fine. One damage, zero hit, oh my god. Corel is going ham. Especially with all these units with axes and stuff, it's... It's good. It's- it's- yeah, he is a good unit. You know, originally I was dis disappointed that we couldn't get Harkin, but oh, this is gonna be a, a long one, even though that could have crit, to be fair, so that could have been kind of dangerous. Nosferatu, okay. I'm gonna fast forward the dark, the Battle of the Dark Mages. Okay, let's see what happens here. Alright, you're gonna get a zero poison. Oh, you're gonna get poisoned, okay. I think someone had an antitoxin, it was either that or, um, there was an- there was- it was either that or there was an antitoxin in Merlinus's tent. It's one or the other, I forgot. That's okay. Um, and Thief. Okay, the Thief's opening up that door. <sighs> you're going for Pent. I knew you were gonna go for Pent. Did he- Oh my god, the 30% hit rate. Sleep as well, yeah. I- I have to mention, these, like, I don't know what they're called, but these, like, um, oh shit, I could have healed up uh, that green unit I just rest. But these Dark Mages, the promoted ones, are so annoying in this game. Because they'll start doing little annoyances like that, where they just, like, forbid you from using magic or something, and it's like, why are you doing this to me? Um, but, anyways. Let's see here, alright, we'll go down this way. And, yeah, I guess we'd get- Vader's pretty strong, so she could probably help out with a lot of this stuff. And, uh, she can move quite- quite a lot, so let me just check where he's gonna go up to, yeah, okay. And we'll get, uh, we'll get Vader up there, right next to her. I'm gonna get, uh, Hector. Why don't you have the chest key, right? Yeah, we only have one. So, um, yeah, that's- that's gonna take a while. Maybe we'll take a drop. <laughs> Why not? Uh, okay. There is quite a lot happening here, but to be fair, I don't think it's too bad. And they didn't actually go for a dart, although I will heal you up while we can. That being said, I think we're fine. None of you have a longbow. I think that's fine. Alright, Sarah, go in and uh, become the thumbnail. Oh, look at you! I haven't, have I ever seen that um, animation? I don't think I've ever seen that custom sprite with the two twin tails, but there you have it. Uh, okay. Goes to show you how much I use, Sarah. Um, none, basically. <laughs> okay, uh, let's see here. We could, uh, let me just see how much I'm doing to Denning. 13 times 2, 69 crit rate. I think that's probably, wait, hold on, how much is that? 13 times 2. So I can do 18 times 2 with a 34 crit rate. We could also get Kansas in on the action as well, now that I take a look at that. We could actually- f Oy, he actually has... Surprisingly- although, for some reason, Luna does good damage, that's kind of weird. Should we risk it for the Biscuit? I mean... To be fair, these other units are probably going to be a joke to Corel. <laughs> the only thing is, will we be able to finish Denning off in this turn or not, you know? We could also lure him- go backwards and lure him that way. Um... And we'll probably get hit by the silver bow or something, but Corel seemed to be fine last time, so... Oh, it's so annoying that Pen got, um, negated. That is, that's so annoying. This, this motherfucker, oh my god. <sighs> Alright, um... Well, let's see. Oh, I actually don't even know what I, what I want to be doing here. There's too many options, that's the issue. Um, <laughs> can you... You can't finish him off, but... I suppose what we could do with Dart is get, yeah, get the 20, 24 going, okay. And are we not gonna level up? That's okay. We can get the kill to Eric here, and then get the support to Sarah, standing next to each other. We'll go for fire. 
Nice. Cool. And, uh, that is a level up. Nice. Eric's probably gonna cap, because again, like I said, I don't even know if there is another Guiding Ring in this game or not. I don't even think I'll be able to promote this guy. However, um, let's see. What about Longbow? We're not gonna be able to finish him off. Pent literally can't use anything now, because of this guy. Which is ridiculously annoying. Um, hmm. Lin can go into attack, and I don't think she's gonna get hit back quite that much anyways. So that is also another option. Yeah, I keep forgetting that you didn't have the javelin. Alright, well, Oswin should be fine. Even though he can't actually one-shot, which is very surprising, but that's okay. Let's get you down here. I'm sure you're fine. Even with the Dark Mages, I think you're fine. Um, so let's get you there. And then we'll get the Longbow going on with Wrath, I suppose. Get that experience. Uh, nice critical. Nice critical. We love to see it. We love to see it. And there you have it. And, okay, so... What we also could do is trade the Longbow, even though it only has one more usage now. But we, what we could do is... Oh, you can't finish him off. But to be fair, that is 25% crit rate. Let's see what I'm saying. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, that's not bad. Alright, let's do that. Longbow broke, but uh, what can you do? I, I was expecting that to break sometime soon anyway, so... Alright, so there is a lot of stuff going on here, to be fair. You can actually... You do have 7 aid, so you could actually rescue someone, which is good. How much defense do you have again? You got 8 defense. Oh, sorry, no, resistance. You have 9 resistance. 99! Uh, the, her next battle is going to be her 100th. Oh my god, I'm so proud. Uh, Nosferatu, so... You both can go. All three of you can go that. Jesus, okay. Um... Alright, well... Can you rescue Rebecca, maybe? You can. Alright, let's do that then. Well, you're not going to be able to attack back. That's the one other issue here, isn't it? I guess we'll put you there. I don't know. Um... Hmm. Well, Priscilla... This is really difficult, isn't it? This is genuinely difficult. Um... Because you're not going to really do... Should I risk it? I feel like Corel's gonna be fine, right? 34% hit rate, times 2, so basically it's a 60% chance that at least we'll get one of them, right? One critical's more than enough to finish this guy off, I'm pretty sure. 3 times 18, so that's a little bit under 60. I think it's fine, right? Let's give it a go. There you go, you put a critical. <laughs> is it a one-shot? Oh, it is a one-shot, nice. This is a message from Lord, yeah, right. Bye-bye to you. Okay. So now that that's done, things are a little bit easier now, I think. Um, 40 HP, nice. I mean, it's a one ping level up, I'm not huge on that, but hey, that's okay. Uh, alright, so now... Unless, I mean, you could you could stop uh, some of these guys down here, actually. What do you have? You have sleep as a... Uh, yeah, of course you have sleep. Um, okay. Uh, you are a little bit low in health? You can't actually finish this guy off, I just realized. Oh my god, his speed's much higher, I didn't even realize. Let's do a double flux then. Okay. And nice level up. Level 10. Nice. 15, 19. Cool. And we shall see... You're probably not gonna be able to reach. Yep. Priscilla's fine now. Um, again, the sleep is rather annoying, but... What can you do? What can you do? Alright, well I guess I'll put... Dork up front with the... Actually, um... Reach your range again, okay. Could put Dork down this way with his steel bow equipped, yeah. Rochelle, you're gonna have to wait a few more turns to, uh, recover. Alright, let's see. Zero, zero damage, that's fine. We can stand, uh, if we, if we get poison, we get poison, isn't, uh, that's more than fine, I think. We also do have another silver sword, so I'm fine with him using that and... Potentially breaking it. That's that's more than yeah. I'm more than okay with that. So you know you're gonna go for another critical. Look at you go. That is three criticals in a row, mind you, um, which is insane. Uh, if you pull another one off, oh my god. <laughs> um, you did not, but that's fine. That's fine. And okay, well there you go. <laughs> so uh, yeah, an absolute killing machine. Um, 
You know, the wiki, you know, gave a lot of shit to Corel. He's just like, oh, it's the shittier one out of the two, but he's pretty good, I must say. He's definitely not bad by any means. Alright, and you're gonna go for the poison bow. Look, Osmond's already poisoned, so that's completely fine. Now, the issue is, or the question is, I wonder what this druid's gonna do. Nosferatu with 19. That is rather scary, but, uh, yeah, you, I didn't think you were gonna double anyway, so that's fine. Alright. And you're gonna go for a sleep for Dorcas. Oh, sorry, I couldn't talk for a second. Um, with a 45% and you miss. Alright, we gotta get rid of this, uh, is, are they called druids? Is that what they're called? I think that's what they're called, right? Um, now Oswin does absolutely need healing, so Sarah's gonna have to jump in there, but... Yeah, these druids are so annoying, so let's uh, try and get that happening. I should start moving... the two wyverns across. I think that's a good idea. Let's get you there. I could have actually take dropped Hawkeye now that I think about it, but uh, I mean, to be fair, he's, he can move quite a lot anyway, so... Alright, which one, left or right? We'll go with the right. Let's go with the right. Uh, I should have gone with the left. <laughs> um, yeah. Not particularly happy about that, but that that's okay. We increase their uh, supports while we can. See what I'm saying? Like the um the sleep or whatever it's called. Like it's it's still here. Like it, it does not go away for so long, and it's so annoying. Oh wait, hold on. It says uh, silence too. I just realized. So I guess in two more turns the silence will disappear. Um, similarly, silence three. Okay, that makes sense. So, uh, what is the plan now? Is the question. Well, I want to get rid of the druid for one. So. Look at these, this trio of uh, bandits here. Jesus Christ, okay. Well, we'll go for uh, you. I suppose I'll go for the silver sword. I mean, I can finish him off in one one hit anyway, so... Doesn't matter at all, doesn't matter to me at all. Alright, nice level up. Are you maxed now? You are, okay. Two ping, it's not too bad. I mean, to be fair, he's rather broken to begin with. Um, so I don't think he needs too much more uh, level ups by any means. We could go down this way. Although I just realized there's still like a whole bunch of turns left, so we could actually just start going back this way and then just guard this area. We can't even open up any more chests anyway, so I might get docked down this way, if anything. And uh, what is your range? Your range is there, your range is there. Okay, so if I put uh, Kansas here to heal up Corel just a little bit, then that's fine, right? Yeah, okay, cool. Priscilla. I might wait for Priscilla. Although I guess I could put you there. Yeah, I could, I could put you here. Start uh, running backwards, I guess. Or not running backwards. Not not like a, a crab, no. No, a crab runs sideways. I don't know what I'm talking about. Um, but, okay. You can finish this guy off with a silver. Could finish that droid off. There's actually not too many more enemies here. For one, let's heal up Oswin first. It's only a heal, so it's not going to be four. But it's more than... Enough for me to be happy. Yeah, his his resistance going to be way too high. Let's get. I do want a dart kill if possible. We can dart kill this guy. Huh. Okay. Let's go for it then. Yeah. Why not? You missed. You missed. But you finished him off. That's fine. <laughs> All right. Nice. Level two berserker with uh, two ping. Okay. Not too bad, I guess. So you have. Uh, Rebecca with you, right? Yeah, okay. So if we get... Let's see. You're not going to be able to do too much. Um, I suppose we could... Yeah, attack this guy with Osman. With a Silver Lance. Nice, okay. I was a little worried that was going to miss, to be honest. Um, no, we're good. Okay. Nice level up. Cool. And what are we on now? Level 5, okay. With a 3 ping. Defense 24, though. I do love- I love seeing Oswin's defense go up, that is one thing I will absolutely be okay with. Alright, let's get Wrath to do 19 times 2, yeah. Um... I would much rather Wrath having... Um, oh shit, I did not consider that, that he would heal there. I guess that makes sense to be fair, but... Um, are you gonna reach Wrath? No, you're fine, okay, good. He, he'll be fine then, I think. Let's get the... Yeah, we'll get the Worm Slayer going on. And, uh... Yeah, I... To be fair, I didn't expect that Nosferatu to hit with the 60% or whatever. Um, but that's okay. Alright, cool. So now, you're gonna hit one of them. Sarah might be in a bit of danger, to be fair. Um, we could... I suppose we could rescue. And then, uh, with Pant, I'll just drop Rebecca behind me. 
Okay. I am, you know, with everything considered... Oh, Corel finally got poison, that's okay. Um, with everything considered, though, this map wasn't uh, nowhere near as bad as some of the other ones, so I was very glad about that. Uh, I mean, I might be speaking too soon, but at the same time, it is good that, uh, well, you know, no casualties so far, which is great. Oh, he's, he's stopped critting, which is interesting, but okay. And you're gonna go for Osvin here. Again, he's already poisoned, so it doesn't really matter. Um, but, okay, so they're gonna pillage or whatever it's called, I forget what it's called. They're gonna steal the treasure chest. So if I kill the one that steals the treasure chest, I'm sure I can get the item back, right? That might actually be a, a strategy to go by, now that I think about it. Um, alright, well, I'm gonna go back with Pent, because you don't- you can't do much else. Do you have an antitoxin? You don't. I don't know who has it. Um, I guess I could check here. I don't think anyone has it, to be fair, interestingly enough. Yeah, I guess not, so... <laughs> That's a bit of a shame, but that's okay. Alright, um... In that case, where's Hawkeye? Hawkeye's there. I might just increase the, the support then, um, because there's not much else I can do with you. You need to heal, um... Although I could have take drop, to be fair. Actually, even if I do take drop... Well, I guess I could put Eric next to you. Yeah, Wrath isn't going to be able to particularly heal up right now. Um, was I taping? Oh, you're still holding on to Lowen, that's right, okay. Well, alright, I guess I'll... Let me just check, I'm not gonna try and do this if this is a dumb idea. You do get a 13, 100% to be fair. I know it's a little risky, but... Yeah, let's go for it. I do want Wrath to get some level... Wait, hold on. Oh, okay, oh, it's 13 times 2, okay. Whew, that freaked me out for a second, and then I realized, oh wait, he's only doing two damage, it's completely fine. <laughs> okay, and nice, three ping. Okay, 14 strength, not bad. Would like a little bit more, uh, uh, what do you have? Actually, no, your defense is not bad. Your stats are actually not too bad, yeah. So, keep it up, Wrath, that's all I can say. Alright, we'll get Oswin back. Uh, we'll get Oswin moving back this way, drop low in there. Get Rebecca Lowen going on, and I suppose for the rest of the map we'll finish these guys off after they've um, grabbed that, but other than that I think it's all just uh, making supports, so let's just, it, yeah, it's literally just support grinding for another five turns. I am a-okay with that, I am completely fine with that. We get Heath and uh, Thingy, uh, Vader to do that, and do we need to do any heals maybe? I don't know. Uh, I don't remember who Priscilla's support partner was. I don't... Uh, whatever. And Dork Osmond we gotta do as well now that I think about it. Can't pant? Is that it? I think that's it. Alright. You wanna open it? What is it? A body ring? Oh, that's a stat boosting item, right? Pretty sure. Uh, and I'm guessing he's gonna go and try and open the other treasure chest there, so... Nice, your uh, thing disappeared now, so that's good. And uh, I'm surprised the poison hasn't disappeared for a lot of these uh, units here. That's okay, let's get Wrath back here. We'll try and increase Sarah's uh, staff usage. And then I'll get Eric. Oh, we'll get Eric next to you, I suppose. Lynn, you can come back. Actually, I can't reach uh, Wrath now, so that might have been a uh, misjudgment on my behalf. Dart, you don't need to do anything. Um, and then I guess we'll get Rebecca. And Lowen up here. Priscilla, you can restore. I mean, he can tank it to be fair. Hmm. You know what? Let's just do it. I'm gonna do it for the uh, EXP and all that. And well, we only really need one of these guys. Uh, and also, I guess we'll we'll get one dude to we'll get Karel to go down there and finish that uh, thief off. What's your speed? Fifteen. So we might get something stolen if. Uh, our speed is low, so I gotta keep that in mind. You have 19 speed? I didn't even know that. You also have 19 speed. And Hawkeye has 15. Okay, so if we move Dork out of the way, it should be fine. Oh, okay. We might not be able to do that. Uh, unless I cannot rescue you. I cannot rescue either Hawkeye. Really? How heavy are you? 16. Oh, wow. Okay. 
I guess that's not happening. Um, I suppose if we block uh, him off, then we could also just do that. Um, actually, he can go around and steal. And to be fair, it doesn't really matter if he steals one of those items. Uh, okay. Well, let's get Pent. Well, yeah, we'll get these three just up here to uh, increase that support. Pent kind of needs to heal a little bit, but you don't happen to... No, okay. Yeah, uh, well, hold on. Let's get Oswin down towards Dorcas for next turn, and then... I suppose I'll get, uh... Oh, uh, yeah, why not? I'll increase his uh, staff rank. And, uh, who else? Just these two. Okay. They don't really need to do much else. Alright, let's end our time. Let's see. You're going over that way. Uh, and they're ignoring it. Okay, they're gonna try and open the, uh, chest there. And, uh, okay. No damage, I see. <laughs> Interesting. Well, hey, at least uh, one of them is going to open the door and the other is probably going to open the chest, so... Alright, pen's all good now. Good. Um, and your poison's still a thing. Alright. So, you stole a body ring, but if I kill you, I'm, I could probably take that back, right? So let's do that real quick. Body ring's a status booster, right? So, I'm sure that's going to be good. Nice. Um, what is it exactly? Increase constitution. Constitution? Like, how much you can carry? Huh. That is ridiculously OP, but okay. Well, uh, in that case, we'll, uh, we'll ambush those, these guys. They're probably gonna open the door, I feel. But I'll get Vader and, uh, Heath on standby. And, uh, yeah, door cause when you guys can do that. Uh, Pentorkai. Yeah, that's fine. Kansas needs a bit of healing, I guess we'll give that to you with Sarah. Nice, and we'll get Kansas over here, I guess. Along with Dart, you two don't need uh, supports or anything, and you're fine. We'll get Wrath over to Lynn, Priscilla. Priscilla could also heal up someone. We could heal up Osman, I guess. Uh, we'll use heal. Yep, and I'll drop you down here. I think that's about it. Yep, just as I thought. Then you're gonna open that. What is it? A dragon shield? I think that's for... Dragon D's not... No, sorry. Um, I think that's for... Is it defense or something? Something like that. Nice hidden though. Uh, I actually, that actually might be beneficial to us because uh, we can get that as a Heath kill probably. Um, and you're gonna still get poison. That's fine. Doesn't look like there's any more reinforcements, which is very interesting. Um, compared to the Zephyr map, especially this one really wasn't that hard. Um, you do have a poison weapon. I've got to keep that in mind. All right, Heath, go go in for it. Get that kill. Nice. Right, and you can't level up, but next next uh, next time you fight, uh, I'm sure you'll be able to. And let's get rid of you. Um, don't want to use the uh, the spear. We we'll use the silver lance, I guess. With uh, Vader here, do you have S in lances or are you still A? That's a good question. Nice level up though. Is that our first level up with you? Uh, it could be. I don't remember what level we got we got you with, but she's level ten now, which is cool. We got the dragon shield, which uh, does what exactly? Defense. Oh, okay. I'll keep that in mind. So you have the body ring, don't you? Who do I want constitution with? Someone on horseback, I think. Or it's either that or wife and riders. Um, no, wait, no. Constitution is an aid. What is constitution? Constitution is... How... M it's... Hold on. It's like how much you're weighed down by the, by the weapons and stuff, right? I think constitution's good for axe units and stuff, from what I understand. I, I could just probably give it to someone who's doesn't have much of it, right? Um, I thought it was talking about aid, and that's why I said, oh, that's kind of OP, but... It's to do with, like, weapon speeds and stuff. I could give it to... could give it to you. Although, hold on. Weight is 3. Brave Rose weight's 12. Okay. So if you get 2 more constitution, well... I mean, it's still not going to be great, but... You know. Um... Is there anyone else with incredibly heavy weapons? I... Maybe you? How much con do you have? You got 9. Weight is 8. Weight is 9. Okay, no, you're fine. <sighs> you know what, I might just give it to Rebecca, because I don't know what to do with it. Um, as for the dragon shield... Well, who needs defense? That's the question, isn't it? Oh yeah, I could just cycle through this way, I completely- I keep forgetting. Eric, I don't- I don't see myself using Eric that much, so... Alleywood... Hmm... Lynn could be a, a good option, actually. 
Uh, Corral's fine, Pan's fine, Kansas is fine. Priscilla also could be a good option, actually, now that I think about it. As well as Rebecca. Um, does this have... this does have weight and stuff, doesn't it? You probably don't need too much more con. Con is 9. Javelin's 11, I didn't even realise. Oh, okay. Maybe like Wrath or something? <laughs> Here's the thing, I really don't know too much about Constitution. Um, <laughs> it's really hard to decide who to give this to. Um, I could give both of them to Rebecca, to be fair, you know, at this point, because of how cracked that girl is. Um, I would not mind doing that, but... Nice, your poison finally faded. Cool. We've only got one more turn, so I've got to be quick with this. We'll trade uh, Body Ring over. Oh. And... I mean, I still do want to... Increase the ports if possible, so hold on, let's see. We will get. Oh, yeah, okay. Because, uh, of course, you have insane movement right now. Let's get trade happening with you, body ring. Nice. Get Lowen over here. You over here, let's use. Because the silver bow is. S Wait, hold on. No, no, it's a brave bow that I was talking about. It's 12 weight, so I'm sure she can do way more. If she has a bit more might or whatever. Constitution, yeah. Plus two. So it's eight now. It is weird that it doesn't show the, the number change. I don't understand why it does that. Um, but anyways, who could I travel this with? I'm trying to think. Hmm. Well, I mean, we still do have next turn, obviously, but we'll get Heath up here, I suppose. Um, Vader, uh... I guess... Ellie would... Mm. I mean, it doesn't really matter, to be fair, right now. I can give it to her next uh, chapter, to be fair. With the dragon shield. Uh, I'll just wait for now. Um, is there anything else I need to do, like healing and stuff? I might as well get the healer's EXP. Nice. Let's do that real quick. And... I think everyone else is fine. Actually, no, Sarah, you can give a uh, heal to Lauren. Okay. Try and get any more supports if we can, and uh, that's about it, I think. Yep. Cool. And uh, green boy, they're still uh, poisoned, so... <laughs> Alright, let's just double check if there's any supports, and uh, we'll be on our merry way, I think. Uh, Krell needs healing. Can you reach? You can. Okay, good stuff. And let's just heal you up. Um, not you. And, uh, okay. So Vader can go up to here. How am I going to rally this? Um, have you there? And... I suppose I'll keep you there for support. Corel Could trade the dragon shield. I mean, I really don't have to do this this turn, but... You know. Actually, no. Now I think I could probably just reach. Yeah. Okay. So let's trade that over and then use it. Nice. So you have 10 defense now. Now, Nice. Okay. I'm a little less worried about Rebe Rebecca being in ballistas and stuff and getting hit now, so... That's always good. Um, but anyways, I think that's about it for... You have a support, never mind. Okay. Does anyone else have one? Is it just you? It might just be you. Okay, let's do the support with Hawkeye. This is gonna be a good one. Hmm. Whoa. whoa. Okay. <laughs> What is he doing? Listen, it's Hawkeye's signal. The battle soon begins. That's his battle cry? Oh, Okay. I wonder how many men lost their lives after hearing that yell of this brute. Those who can call him the Mad Beast Warrior were fairly accurate. Oh, okay. <laughs> that was a tiny support. Alright, well, let's end our turn. And we'll be done with this map, so uh, thank you for joining me this time as well. Um, that was a fun one. That one wasn't too bad at all. And uh, here's all the green units now. Lord Hector, you unharmed. Protect Lord Hector, Knights of Osti, attack! There's nothing to attack, but thank you for the support, I appreciate it. Hey, Greybeard, are these guys? Yes, I'm sure of it, they are his morphs. It's true, they're all eerily similar. That reminds me, that man of Velour, Effidel, Black Fang Sonia too. Are you saying that he made them all? Oh yeah, that's right, Effidel, what's his name? It is an abomination, a crime against all that is natural. When Nurgle begins using morphs to carry out his plans, his power had grown beyond our ability to contain him. After humans, his next target became the essence of dragons. His ne next target had to be Arcadia. 
I, I concealed our paradise behind a curtain of sandstorms. I then hid in the underground ruins and waited for him. I did not hope to defeat him, just to exchange blows, and then draw him into the desert which would be his end. But no one ever showed up, did he? Correct. I have no idea how he managed it, but he called those siblings through the Dragon's Gate, and now he plans to call a horde of dragons to this land. What do we have to do to stop him? Our last hope is the power of the legendary items. It would take too long for us to gather all of them. I will go to the Shrine of Seals and tell Braymond everything. We must have his power no matter the cost. Then we should go to the Dragon's Gate ahead of you. What? That's a good idea. Even though you cannot harm Nurgle himself, you can certainly do some damage to his troops. If we don't answer Nurgle's invitation soon, he'll continue to send out troops after us. If that's going to happen, we might as well take the fight to him. I won't have Lucia ravaged by any more of his acts. You... You truly are Roland's children. I am old. I did not expect anything to surprise me again, and yet... Lord Athos, it takes the strongest of bonds to alter the course of fate. Go, go, my youthful friends. Set your sights on the Dragon's Gate and keep moving. Alright, now... Oh, and Hector, where are these legendary items? They're right here. Mine too, I'm sorry. I simply couldn't bring myself to wield it. Neither could I. I would said it felt like Durandal moved by itself. A weapon with a will of its own. Can I really control a weapon like that? Frankly, I wasn't sure. It's such a shame that Lynn never gets one. Like, she's a lord as well. Like, <laughs> it's classic 1500s misogyny for you. Alright, let me take them from you for a while. May I? Yes. It's fine, but... Anyway, would Hector, I understand how you both feel. But without these weapons, we won't be able to stop Nurgle. Eh, uh, that's not true. I mean, with you, we'll be able to stop him. You know that, don't you? Yes. Where next I wield it, I won't hesitate. Confidence is just a matter of time. I'll use it when I need to. You'll see, Greybeard. I know. Okay. I guess that's it. Oh no, a little bit more Oswin. What's up, Oswin? Okay, we're having a little conversation here, maybe? Oswin, I'm here, Lord Hector. We won't be able to contact Fargus about travelling to Valor to the day after tomorrow. The guards are rotating watches to protect the castle. Lord Hector, for this one night, please get some rest. Who needs rest? Do not talk to me of rest when Ostia needs me. There is something that you need to tell me, isn't there? I can think of nothing, my lord. Stop this foolishness. It's plain that everyone is avoiding me. What are you all hiding? I know what it is. Lord Hector, you must calm yourself. Say it, I command you. Tell me what has happened. Mm. If you don't answer right here, right now, I will cut you down, knave. Do as you must. Hmm. Yeah, I see. My brother, he's gone, isn't he? Lord Hector. I was sure he was recuperating. That he'd gone somewhere to recover his strength. I thought that was what you were hiding. But you won't confess even now. That means he's dead. Lord Hector, wait, please. Oh no. It's sad. There's a side quest? I didn't account for this, but okay, I guess. Oh, I'm gonna regret doing that, aren't I? Well, um... That's it for this time. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this episode of Fire Emblem, uh, the Blazing Blade No Reset run. We did Sands of Time. Next time, I guess we're doing 31X. I did not account for this, but okay. Um, I hope to see you all there. Bye-bye.